Yeah, I wish there was a way to skip it entirely. Unfortunately, the game is, like, well-designed. Do you know what I mean? You can make fun of Blizzard now, but... Seven, eight, nine years ago when they were making this campaign, they were very technically high prowess, and they did not let you break this game particularly much. We adapt. Which is a shame in some ways. Come on. <laughs> that one always takes longer than I think it will. No time like the present. Make your peace. One level. Primal roaches help. They fight Yandra's brood. I'm gonna get the safety level. New form can I think it's essence, worth it. Mend wounds. Heal nearby it's not like itself. necessary completely. But it means that if I'm having a hard time a little bit later, then I can skip a level that I don't want to get. So we're just dashing through this part. We're going to jump up here. Uh, Yoshi of the Wire is going to give tier five tier one subs. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And now we're going to fight Yagdra. So Yagdra fight. We want to dive Yagdra as much as possible. Kill the big Ultralisk eggs and let the other ones live. So big Ultralisk egg dies. And then just keep diving on Yagdra and hopefully not have to use Mend. This has been a good cycle so far. Uh, if I get really lucky, Yagdra will not burrow again. Nope. Unfortunate. Oh, and the farthest away place, too. So, the ending to this fight was... Wow. That was like 2 HP Yagdra trolling right there. Really, really unfortunate. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of RNG in that fight. You can only do what you can do. So all my guys are burrowed, which means that the Zerg won't be going after them. However, they will be chasing Kerrigan instead. I grab this level, I dash past, and I'm going to have to unburrow all my guys before the Kraith fight. Otherwise, things can get a little bit, uh, I don't want to say bad, but confusing. It's really easy to forget the unburrow because you're not looking at the burrowed units. So once I get to this ramp is when I remind myself and I unburrowed properly. Honestly, that entire statement wasn't really to inform any of you guys. It was more to remind myself. As long as I kept talking about it, I wouldn't forget. So we're just going to burn down Kraith as much as we can. Ah, oh, that guy barely died. I thought he would live. I misjudged that. The Hydras do a lot of damage on this fight, so... I'm gonna hit Mend instead of actually killing the Lings. Oh, bad Kraith, too. The fight itself wasn't bad, but the positioning that Kraith ended up at was pretty unfortunate. Oh, why am I jumping? It's a little bit faster to slide. So, I don't have to burrow here. Everyone's just going to chase Kerrigan. Don't get to 100 energy, but leave up energy in case this rounds happen. Right through that guy. Right over here. And then we're going to need one more slide at the end here. Uh-oh. Not, not perfect. So Sylvan, or Sylvain, depending on who you want to piss off with your pronunciation, is kind of annoying. We'll see how the fight goes. I want to hit the Banes with Kerrigan first. Now everyone is going to dive on top of Sylvain, and I'm going to try to DPS down before many eggs come out. That was a phenomenal fight. Sylvain just decided to walk right into my army for some reason, and didn't do anything. Literally, it could not be the best. Oh, are we talking about bug meat? I think bug meat is interesting. I think it's going to be the future whether you like it or not. Ugh, bad spawn. You want to avoid the unit spawns on this one, and if you get a unit spawn, you don't want it to be that one. So, nice. He's going to do it again. He's going to... Oh, he didn't. We get to phase two. Oh, great. This whole Zervan fight was pretty solid overall. 
Uh, I don't know why those last two bosses just did not do anything. Oh, lab-grown meat's definitely the future, too. Uh, but you have to take the future in steps, right? I think that... I'm not sure how the large-scale production of lab-grown meat is going to scale in the future. I think it might be kind of difficult. And I think that bugs might be a good interim thing because they already exist and we need to be fostering their... Oh, what am I doing? Um, these two. There we go. Go to Caldir. We need to make sure that the bugs all don't die out anyway, so researching ways to make sure that bug populations are thriving would be a win-win in that situation. Because insect populations right now are having a hard time. Evolution pit. Oh, I don't need anything here. Yeah, I got it. So I'm going to abandon my lings. We dash. We dash. Right around there, dash. We're going to burrow this guy. Oh. Then we have to take this guy, bring him over here, and burrow. We dash two more times, jump across, and spawn some banelings. The flash freeze is near. I just have to find an Ursodon These guys are in a good position. Perfect, perfect. What is it this time? The flash freeze has arrived. Your troops are frozen. These Ursodon, led by Matriarch, strong essence. So I'm going to blast through the Matriarch, and then I'm going to put some banelings over here and try to jump past the dialogue trigger via this area. You are trying, my patience. Flash freeze storm is fading. Oh, no. I think I messed it up. Why isn't... Okay, that... <laughs> He's going to talk about roaches. I messed that up really badly. Yeah. You can avoid this dialogue trigger if you do it right. You can do it up here or down here. I've had more success down here, but I've, like, never actually done it properly on stream. So, more success isn't really a good term, is it? Retribution. Now we're going to take down this first Silent Spire by dashing over to it, making some bands, running them into it. Burrow. Keep making Zerglings. Why are there a bunch of Baneling spawns here? I do like an efficient swarm. If I have a chance, I will hunt down some Matriarchs. Alright, this is odd. I'm not used to doing this with the evolution mission, so I have stuff that I don't... I'm not used to. Even if you destroy our spires, we will get word to Isha, drop a hatchery at this location. I need this swarm. So that's first bonus objective down. These here, these here. Protoss approaching the hive cluster. Flash freeze approaching. There we go. Target down that, target down that, dash. And get the second bonus level. Attack now. We should defend our hive cluster. Spine crawlers are excellent defenses. I'm gonna head south, I think. I don't have that much down there. How are they doing? They're doing alright. These guys are doing much better. Okay, this is the correct decision. We're gonna nuke this. Four minutes is very, very solid. Uh, Kerrigan spawns banelings with the ability spawn banelings, and I wouldn't look any farther into it. If you're looking for the biological, uh, I'm going to say she spits them out. Your power level has New abilities are now Twin drones. Uh, what am I supposed to get here? This is good. Overlord. That's what I need to think of. Overlord. I knew there was something. Don't let me forget the Overlord. I gotta follow Kerrigan with an Overlord. Overlord, 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 Overlord. Done. Okay. Mission's a success. Thanks, guys. Retribution. 
So we're going to dash Kerrigan up twice. There's going to be a bonus objective up here that we're going to run some Banelings into. We're going to dash over here, burrow, while we get these guys doing their things. Hydras need to not die. We use this vision to jump up here. Now we can deal with this for a bit. Large quantities of Try not to lose anybody in particular. You have can use to improve swarm. Warning, your forces are so these attack here, these go this way, and My then we get Kerrigan to jump here, spawn Banes, kill this target. Slide past. I need one more slide. A launch bay has been destroyed. Not bad. Protoss will be forced to launch their shuttles from the remaining bays. Hydras come up. Hydras come Next up. Full HP Kerrigan from the bonus finishing. The Run that down. Jump across. I, am I just need to wait on the cooldown for spawn base. banelings. Your forces are nearing the enemy's base. Another Protoss launch bay. I want it to be at destroyed. seven. All right. Dash. Dash. Spawn Banelings. <gasps> oh, that Baneling went a weird way. That was almost horrible. And the shuttle died to the Hydras. <laughs> that was... That could have been bad. I almost threw that at the end. No evolution. Have I seen the D Diablo Immortal review? Some people have access to an earlier version. They say it's pretty good. I, I don't play phone games. I have a phone that's like from 1803. It's technically a smartphone, but I think that it's one of those phones that like cheated on its test and got declared smart as a result. So I don't really get to do that kind of gaming. What was that noise? Yeah, my, my smartphone has a rotary dial on it. I gotta spin it in a circle. All right, he's gone. A sentry, hide in the steam vents until it passes. You gotta be real careful of this sentry. So one thing that is funky is because you're zoomed in so much, your perception on distance on this mission can be a bit weird. So it's really easy to think that you're far enough away from the sentry, and then it's in range and it just kills you in two hits, and you're just like, oh, that was neat. So the Protoss think they have a few infested animals. Killing that middle zealot is really good. They it stops no his voice line. What they're up against. Then these guys get pulled over here. I'm going to target down the sentry. Then the zealot. Then I'm going to leap. Leaping is faster than walking. Then you should explode and turn into Neadra in the safe space. Just hold down G until Neadra exists. So I've made so many mistakes in this mission in the past that I've actually unbound the ability to turn, or to warp in roaches and hydras with Neadra. Because I just would keep accidentally doing it. So Neadra's gonna eat. Lings are gonna go eat every Protoss. Push this way. Then we're going to turn everyone into banelings for a bit. Use these to open up this area. Yadra doesn't have much she can do right here. Everyone charges in, and I hope the sentry doesn't go in the pipe. It didn't. Nice. Now it's going to be baneling time for a while. Because the banelings are faster damage. Uh, they're not that great against some targets, though. They head that way, through the tube. Please don't walk in the tube. Hey, they didn't. Wow, this has been great for my YouTubing. They just don't go in the tube. And all these guys go to the area there and turn into Banes. We're just going to blow them up before the sentries get to the other side. Uh, they lost pretty bad right there. Oh, they, they force fielded. That's, please run out right when we get here. 
Well, this is a time loss. <laughs> I don't think I need to explain why. So I always used to make a joke that Niadra was in love with the Ursidon, but then I changed my routing, and now I murder the Ursidon, and now I feel bad about that joke, because she basically murders her husband. I'm still gonna do it, though. Oh, no. <laughs> Niadra, you're so fat. Because it's faster than eating the stuff over here. And the Ursodon doesn't actually help the fights very much. Grab the stuff over here. We're gonna open this area up. Oh no, she's stuck on Banelings, that's bad. We need the Ursodon. Ursodon E. Vermilion. Then he explodes for biomass. And we can make big Niadra. Sorry, guy. The Protoss are fortifying the bridge. Prepare your forces. That's a lot of bandlings. So these guys are all hallucinations. For anyone who's never seen it before, it's really funny. Watch. They just are gonna poof into smoke. I know that that kind of just looks like the normal Zealot Death animation, but you gotta trust me, they're hallucinations. Now we just bane train our way to victory. Strike now. We must buy our brother's time. They prepare more escape pods. Destroy them. I fear no I'm doing a real bad job at actually not walling off Zagara. That's kind of the main thing. It's not the main thing you want to do on this mission, but it is something to keep track of. We're gonna jump over to this side with the lings, because they can jump. That can save us a little bit of time. And we take down this final guy. Oh! Senator Sentry himself was the remainder. remainder. It was okay. 736, I'll take it. Kerrigan is not leveled up. Evolution Pit is leveled up. Roach Evo. Oopsies. <laughs> Just leaving one guy behind. So the speedrun strat here is don't lose your guys to the Scantipede. I know. Intense. But it spawns little guys if you do. Essence acquired. Roaches modified with parasitic sequence. Strain implants Roachling now we just kind of push forward. You gotta kill everyone in this one, so... Push forward. Leave no survivors. There's a lack of good speedrun strats here. Just kind of aggressively moving forward and not losing the Roaches themselves. Let the Roachlings attack the enemy first. You kind of want to focus fire, but you want to split your damage as well so you can have Roachlings spawning from multiple angles. It's all about min-maxing your Roachling count here. Their damage is not super high, but there's a lot of them. I'm probably going to pick the Roachling because it is the... I don't use either of them, really. But if I had to, then this one has a higher chance of increasing damage output. Actually, no. I do use Roaches on the hybrid mission, which means that I probably want the one that makes the hybrid worse so that the Thor can kill it more easily. So I think I'm going to have to get the other Roach. That's a consistency booster. This one's not really a time save. So we got to eliminate all the Protoss here once again. Utilizing Burrow to keep guys high on HP. And target this guy down, have one guy attacking the other one to slow him. Just don't lose anything. That was pretty good. Oh! 
That wasn't. I'm gonna get a wave of reinforcement roaches, so it's not the end of the world. The roach fights take a long time, though. There's not a high DPS unit. This is all about making sure that your units live long enough to deal damage. Alright. Yeah, we're going vile. Vile strain successful. Protoss eliminated. Must prepare sequence. Yeah, corpses are good, are good on this difficulty, but we don't really build that many units for the rest of the run. It's more about using what you already have and crippling one specific hybrid with a roach is really the only thing that I use a ro roach for for the rest of the run. We go to Dominion Space, and this mission is a bit jank. Let's hope that I don't break the mission again. When the Hyperion just, like, decided it wasn't going to have abilities. That was fun. So please work. It was a weird thing where I recalled my interceptors on the Hyperion at the same time that I used a tactical jump, and when I came out of the tactical jump, my interceptor ability, or all my abilities were disabled. Or maybe it was just the interceptor. Either way, it wasn't possible. And I was on world record pace during that run too. Like, really, really good world record pace. Way better than the pace that I got on a later run. So it was really a sad, sad sight. Because you just don't get that many bugs in Blizzard games, generally. Especially not super game-breaking ones. So we're pushing forward really fast. Repair bots give back interceptors. That's the only thing I will ever use them for is, well, a little bit of HP at the end, but most of the time it's for DPS. Give back interceptors. Is the best thing to do. I'm not going to try to take back the world record on HOTS, I don't think. It's something I think I could do. I mean, I've proven it in the past, but it would take a lot of work, and I have so many other runs that I want to be doing, you know, that you got to pick and choose exactly what's worth your time. Excellent. Sensors indicate we gathered all the minerals in this area. And it's just, it's not as special to get the world record for a third time. Do you know what I mean? Like, the first time feels good, the second time justifies yourself, and then the third time you're like, ah, I've been here, done that. I'd much rather run something else. Okay, I need to be real wary of the screen steal soon. They're gonna steal my screen. It should be illegal. There it goes. Building more ships to send at us. We're going to have to take it out fast. Your forces are under attack. So we're getting to level three. There is a route that you don't get to level three. It's risky. I'm not going to take the risk right here. Yeah, you can thank me later. I think that's all the minerals around here. Now I got to start clearing stuff. Make it so. Because you can't quite dive everything. Got to take out these ordnance towers. It's better to Yamato the BCs because they Yamato you back, and if they decide you're the target of the Yamato, your life sucks. It's really kind of annoying because they will target the interceptors as well, and if they Yamato the interceptors, then the BCs are a joke. So theoretically, the fastest way to play this mission would just to be hoping that you don't get hit by a Yamato. I don't really like that, though. So we're going to jump. And we're going to run, deploy the interceptors, jump again, fire Yamato. Oh, Yamato didn't fire. I'm going to lose all my interceptors as I strafe it over here. Get really safe over here next to this little health regenerator. Dodge. 
and finish off the objective. There we go. So now I have this. I'm not going to go mend. I don't need it yet. No evolution mission here. I don't need the mutations. Let's go. I don't know if I ever got to show off my really sleek level on this one. So I'm kind of looking forward to this. Yeah, because I didn't do it in the world record that I originally got. I did it. I came up with it later, so... Finally, I can show off my cool strats. We're going to dash through here. Dash back. Take everything down. Spawn Banes. It's all about Spawn Banes at the beginning here. And not losing stuff. Try to keep the banes that we have alive. What is it? Retribution will it's possible to skip this group down here. It's risky though, so I'm not going to take the risk. It's like a couple seconds time save for a potential reset of the mission. Because there's no saves at this point. And we're going to hit that and start moving Kerrigan to the point. I could have done another hit with Kerrigan. Now they're going to start coming out. I believe they come here, then here, then here, then here. My swarm. Guard me while I take care of this. Roach in the front, Queen in the middle, Hydra in the back. Get on top of them. Banes are going to take down this group. These guys move over to defend here. I'm going to patrol move so that they more quickly go into the door. Then these come over here. Uh, there are siege tanks and Thors later in maximum security, don't worry. Heavy weapons are moving in. Be careful. The aberrations are very, very good against those tanks. You barely even notice they're there. Then there should be a group that opens up here. I want to kill the Thor. Thor does the most damage. And we're just going to push this way. Kill everything that we can. For some reason, Kerrigan's uh, cooldowns do not refresh at all during that fight, which I find silly. And then I'm just going to walk through with everybody here. And I'm going to spawn some Banes just for safety's sake. Oh, Kerrigan's very low. Gotta be careful for a sec. This is fine. We start the next segment. I didn't quite get to spawn Banelings there. If you do, it full resets Kerrigan's cooldown so she can get another spawn Banelings. It does make the fight a bit faster. Make sure to kill the turret because it's really awkward sitting there wondering why it's not over and there's a turret. Now we bring everybody down. Spawn Banes to kill the infantry. Open up the area. Take the Thor down. Keep moving this way. Aberration can take these down. Where do we go? The whole side of the ship is gone. Oh, we got the men spam going already. Thank you guys. Never want to forget mend. It's like a two minute time loss. Oh wait, what am I doing? I don't want banelings here. The whole point of this is that I don't get banelings. Okay, so now I'm gonna show off my super sneaky trap that I figured out for getting this level. Where me and the lings are going to go this way. We just kind of skip everything. And then, actually with raptor lings, it'll be double easy. We just get vision, jump, jump. I was really proud when I figured that one out. I thought it was pretty clever. Retribution. 
And we gotta just finish it off. Kerrigan can take as much damage as she wants right here, as long as she doesn't... Oh, the Reapers came? Uh... <laughs> it's not gonna end the mission or anything, but that was new and unique. Hello. Mend. Get mend. Thank you guys so much for reminding me to get mend. Kerrigan? Mend. And then... Ability efficiency. New abilities are evolution pit. I guess I'll do an evolution mission. Swarm. Oh, swarm host, everybody's favorite. <laughs>